With me tonight is Brian Graham from our Community Services Committee. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about our Community Services Committee for the Rotary Club of Gravenhurst. Well, we have uh, approximately eight members, and the purpose is to deal with uh, issues that come up uh, in the community, uh, and we provide uh, financial support for groups and individuals who, uh, who are in need of funds. Um, we have uh, a broad spectrum of people that we deal with and mm. issues that we deal with. We, we uh, deal with everything from providing some financing for festivals, for uh, parades, for uh, a lot of uh, a lot of community groups that come in want to do some f uh, want to do uh, fundraising and we mm -hmm. provide the seed money for that uh, the other thing that we do is that uh, we also provide some assistance to the schools oh. and these are for programs that are initiated by the students which is really great yeah. and then we also provide uh, and this is for the high schools and the primary grades and the and the middle schools yeah. and that's a lot of fun we have a lot of some great ideas that come out of there but I think most importantly is that because of the needs in the community um, we also provide financial support for individuals and families that find themselves in distress. Mm. Now, it could be somebody's trying to recuperate from an injury or medical issues, or it's just um, the financial, uh, financial um, problems that they have with regards to buying expensive medical equipment and that. Uh, and that's one of our more important. Uh, so for those ideas. individual requests, mm -hmm. those are like, we've got OHIP and we've got all sorts mm -hmm. of government programs. Don't those pay for all those needs? Not necessarily, particularly when uh, you have a family uh, who has a youngster that needs some extra special medical attention and where do they have to go? down to Barrie, down to Toronto. Oh. Then you have the transportation costs. Uh, Mom and dad have to take time off work. So the, there, there are a lot of implications there, uh, financial implications that can yeah. be very, very difficult. And wow. so we step in and, and assist where we can and with what resources. The second part of that is we have, and, and we've done this on a number of occasions, instead of giving financial uh, resources, uh, we have a pretty good network because we're working with a lot of other community groups. So we may refer them to another group that would be better enabled to assist them. Oh, okay. So, so where there's a better fit maybe, right? We'll much, move yeah. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that works out very well. Well, I think that sounds awesome. So a community service committee, as you said, is about eight members right now. Mm. Our club's about 55. So this committee is sort of, you know, looking after their share of the of the money and the disbursements and that, if you will, which is pretty, pretty neat. Where are you getting your money from? Well, that's what we're hoping to get from the auction oh. <laughs> and a number of other fundraising um, events that the club puts on donations etc and uh, we the board sets up a budget for us and that is the money that we have to uh, distribute and we get about 35 um, well last year uh, the 2018-2019, we had 35, 38 requests, and we were able to fill about uh, about 80 percent of those. There were some of the requests that came in that didn't fit within our criteria, so yeah. we had to turn those uh, turn those down. If anyone has any other questions and wants to discuss this further, please call Brian or any of our other Rotarians. Thank you so much.